glory be to God. Today is the first Friday of the month. I know the meaning of that. It is that is Holy Ghost service. And it's going to be a beautiful time in God's presence at the Redemption Camp. And if you are not in Nigeria, you can join us online. But if you are in Lagos State, in Ogun State, or your state, and close by state where they have uh, transport to get to, to the camp on good time to enjoy God's presence with the brethren, please be at the camp. But if you are far away, you can join us online on different uh, media spots where it will be viewed and air on and live. The Lord bless you as you join us. It's going to be a beautiful time. I know it's half year. It's time to pray again so that we can catch up. Praise the Lord. We've talked about the value of purpose. We've talked about the value of passion and it's not the value of pursuit. Now, it's not, if you are not pursuing anything, then things will be pursuing you. Just know that for sure. If you are not pursuing something, something will be pursuing you. And that's why some people say life is not fair because they are not pursuing anything and sometimes they will pursue you. Every time something, if you are not busy, then you will be used. If you are not praying, you become a prey. You must be pursuing something or that you'll be pursued. And that's what passion is all about. When you have purpose and you understand purpose and you know you are passionately pursuing now you see the word pursuing your purpose so it is the link between purpose and passion that's why we call it the fuel for the car for the engine called passion in the car called purpose because if you know your purpose and your passion to it you need to move to do it you need to act you need to release all your energy and it takes discipline to be to pursue the right thing because there are many distractions for instance joseph was pursuing the throne but distraction called potiphar's wife trying to convince him about being a, being uh, a slave for life there are things that will try to trick you try to push you so that you not pursue the purpose passionately and our test, I'm reading from Philippians chapter 3, 11 to 14, God's word translation. Say, with the confidence that I have I'll come back to life from the dead, it's not that I've already reached the goal or have already completed the course, but I run to win that which Jesus Christ has already won for me. Brothers and sisters, I can't consider myself a winner yet. This is what I do. Listen to that. I don't look back. I, I strengthen my stride. I lengthen my stride. And I run straight toward the goal to win the prize that God, that's God's heavenly call offer in Christ Jesus. Wow. So, like Paul, what should you do? How should you pursue? How should you maximize pursuit? What? How can you make your pursuit valuable? First Corinthians 9, 25 to 27. Everyone who enters an athletic contest goes into strict training. They do it to win a temporary crown, temporary crown. But I do it to win one that will be permanent so i run but not without a clear goal ahead not without purpose not without passion so i box but not as if i was just a shadow i box passionately not just i was boxing 27 rather i toughen my body with punches and make it slave to that so that i will not be disqualified after i have spread the good news to other people see what he did to himself strict discipline strict discipline he put himself on that strict discipline so that he can focus so there will be no distraction that's why in galatians 2 20 he said i am crucified with christ yet i live the life i live not my own but of the one that loves me and died for me he was strictly pursuing the goal set before me. I ask you, 
pursue the goal in Christ Jesus. God bless you.